it's your girl Sophie Krista. If you're new to this channel, yes, you, you haven't hit that subscribe button or you haven't hit that like button already, what are you doing? Because I'm confused why you haven't hit it already. Like, please let me know why you haven't done that already. So, we're going to wait until you do that. Have you done it yet? No? No? Well, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video and check out my other videos. But before you check out my other videos, definitely stay tuned for this video and continue on watching this video. In today's video, we are going to redo this hair because Saturday is wash day and I am literally dreading it. I don't want to do it. I've been delaying it for quite some time. So it's time to face my destiny and just come to terms with this. So I'm planning to wash my hair this Saturday. So I need to figure out what to do with my hair this week because as you guys can see, I'm looking crazy. I'm I'm looking like a hot mess. So I need to revamp this hair and do a quick little style. So maybe I might do some two-strand twists and just make it to a bun. Sweet and simple, but I figured you guys might want to see it. You know, a quick little, you know, hairstyle to do when you're stressed out or when you're busy or you just don't want to do anything to your hair for the week. This is a quick, easy, simple hairstyle. So stay tuned as I do this hairstyle and we can figure it out together because the girl doesn't know what she's doing yet. So we're just going to go with the flow. <laughs> so stay tuned, okay, you guys. Okay, as you guys can see, my hair is looking like a hot mess. So the first thing I'm going to do is just spray my hair with some water and conditioner. Just make sure my hair is nice and wet and moisturized before I start touching it and unraveling to tangle it because I don't like using my hair or touching my hair, honestly, when it's dry because I feel like that's when I really like snag at it and pull at it. But when it's wet, it's easier to manage and manipulate. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to ravel my twists and get ready to prep for this next hairstyle. Yes, honey, do you guys see my hair right now? The thickness, the shine, like what? I was really feeling it like, you guys, I really outdid myself and really, you know, protecting my hair and making sure it's moisturized throughout this week or a little bit over a week. Like it was nice and moisturized. It was oiled. Like I really outdid myself. So I'm currently now just like trying to figure out what I was going to do with my hair because I was... Yeah, I had no idea what I was going to do my hair. But I decided to first just, you know, take a wide tooth comb and detangle my hair and really part it into two sections. You know, I try to get it as even as possible, but hey, no one's perfect, right? So I'm just applying a little bit of edge control because I don't really like using edge control on my hair because I feel like it pulls at it. So I'm just using a little bit just to make sure the front is flat. I will be including all the products that I use down below in the description box so definitely look out for that. And then I'm going to apply some moisturizing cream and then on top of that some oil. I like to use a lock method a lot and just honestly start flat twisting. If you guys want to tutorial on how I do my flat twist, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to film a video of that. Again, so what I did on the other side, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, the exact same approach on this side. Once I finish these flat twists, I'm going to combine them together into a little braid and create a little ponytail, which I'll then cover the ponytail with some clip-ins to protect my hair and make sure my hair is not out. I usually have my hair out, but your girl's being lazy this week, so we're not having any hair out, so I don't have to manage anything but oil my scalp, and that is it. 
So I'm gonna apply some clip-ins over the ponytail to make it look like I have my actual hair out. Okay, you guys, this is the most important, crucial step when styling your hair. If you want your hair to look put together, to look popping, to step on these necks, it is laying these baby hairs, okay? Now, this is a time where I use edge control, but I don't even use a lot. I really make sure my hair is protected underneath the gel so it doesn't pull at my hair. So if you guys want a tutorial on that, let me know down below because I can, you know, Teach you guys a little thing or two about these baby hairs, okay? Um, but yes, right now I'm just laying my baby hairs, and then that's it. That's literally the final result, you guys. Like, let me know what you guys think. guys i truly appreciate it if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below and like this video i hope you guys like this quick and easy protective style especially if you just need a week of just not touching your hair just to get you through the week and so you can wash your hair this weekend or whatever upcoming weekend this is a great protective style it's quick and easy super easy and super cute and then you can add like little gems like i have um i don't even know you call these like little jewels things you could just like put it in your hair or you could use like the strings. So I'll definitely put those in there like towards the end of the week when it starts to get a little bit more frizzy where I can make it look a bit more cute and like put together. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys like this hairstyle. Let me know what you guys think down below. And if you guys want any more hair tutorials or hairstyle ideas, let me know and I'll be sure to do them. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button down below, check out my other videos. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.